Thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Health. Last week, I met with a number of business owners in the town of Echuca. Echuca, of course, like many regional towns in Victoria, has had no real COVID cases at all. It remains virus-free. With an economy driven largely by tourism, they have just been allowed back onto the Murray River and paddle steamers are now carrying passengers on their decks enjoying the scenery along the river. The river can now come alive again after a period when New South Wales government restrictions on the Murray, which sits on their side of the border, put a stop to recreation. This has opened opportunities for many Victorian businesses that were suffocating under the COVID restrictions. The slight easing, which allows outside socially distanced dining, has begun to resuscitate the town and huge, the huge queues on the bridge seem to be keeping some business in Victoria because it takes so long to get across to New South Wales in the line. Business in Echuca has begun the long, slow climb back to rebuilding. Unless, of course, the business is indoors. I spoke with the owners of the National Holden Museum, Tony and Mark Galea, and the great Aussie beer shed, Neil Thomas. They told me that although they have plenty of space and have prepared diligent social distancing plans, they are not allowed to open. I wandered around the empty Holden Museum. You could drop 20 visitors into the building and never know they were there. The various beer shed facilities are larger yet. They're spread out over several hectares. Safe social distancing would be easy if it was allowed. They can only sit and lament their situation, which is forcing them to live off their savings, a finite resource which they have no way of topping up, and no way of knowing if it will be enough to see them through. All the while, they watch hotels, cafes and restaurants that can operate outside, catered to the large crowd of tourists drawn to the attractions of Echuca. Many have made their way to the Holden Museum and ask why the doors are closed, because they have come a considerable distance to see some rare Aussie classics. But the museum owners obey the rules, keep their doors locked and the collection of cars under dust covers, because all venues, big, small, regional city, are being treated the same way. Will the Minister please tell us when regional museums, art galleries, gyms and other indoor venues that are capable of opening safely will be given permission to open up? Here, here.